Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, this is a decent fish. It's not a lady. It ain't fighting like a lady. A lot of head shakes. He's not pulling drag though, so he's probably not very big. Oh, he spooked all them fish. I hope I got that on camera. That was pretty cool. I switched to the Rapala. This this lure, man, I love this lure. I think it's just a monster ladyfish. No, that's a big blue. To get him up with his wave. Yeah, blue fish, baby. Oh, he popped off right at the perfect time. I don't even have to unhook him. Just make sure you don't bite me. Nice blue fish right there. He's probably about 14, 15 inches. I'm gonna bring him home. He's gonna be dinner. I caught him on this Rapala shadow wrap shad. I love this lure. It catches pretty much every species out here. Highly recommend this lure. This is the silver color. A little bit of north wind today. I'm able to throw that lure a little further, get it past that bar. Usually those fish are cruising that bar, so when it comes over it, hopefully they smack it. Oh, there we go. Nice, okay. Yeah, another one. Oh, this one's pulling drag too. Good head shakes. That's definitely another blue. You see him stirring up all that bait. The bait's cruising up close. He's going down the beach. I'm gonna catch up with him. Where's he at? Looks like another bluefish. Is that scary spot? Right at the shore monster. Another nice bluefish right there. Oh, that's even bigger than the last one, I think. Solid bluefish. These guys are fun. Thanks, buddy. We'll get you back. There he goes. Come on. Give me that stud. Yeah, another one. Brian hooked up. He's over here talking about, oh, I got one too. We got schools, man. Brian and I are both hooked up right now. Oh, oh, I have no idea what's going on. What fish is what? We just had a school of something run through. I got him in front of me. All right, Brian's gonna land his. Mine is jumping and it looks big. I don't think it's, I do not think it's ladyfish though. No, I think you got a blue. I think we both got blues, dude. Unless we're hooked up on the same fish. I think we're hooked no, up on the same no, fish. I got mine's about 30 yards out. It is a fighter. Oh, man. We both got big blues, dude. Come here. Get that dude. Yeah, look at that. Doubling up. Brian and I hooked up same time. Two stud bluefish. Oh, we are just killing dude, it. Dude, yes. Here. <laughs> there we go there we go nice that's a good one he's pulling drag he's got to be just right here at shore oh man he's just angry he does not want to come to shore yeah there he is he's getting tired come on buddy Come on, come up in that wave. There he is. Let me get a measurement on this dude. 17 and a half. That is my new personal best bluefish. He's 17 and a half. I'm gonna let this dude go though. I already got two in the cooler. That's plenty for the family. Bluefish are delicious and are actually one of my favorite fish to catch and eat caught from the surf here in the Florida Panhandle. If you've tried bluefish before and didn't like it, try this out i brought home two of them and i'm going to show you how i prepare one of the most underrated fish caught in the gulf all right well here's the two bluefish i brought home make sure you bleed out your bluefish the quality of the meat will just be much better and i just fillet them like i would any other fish just to start off by doing my first cut and then follow that backbone down 
all the way to the back. Same thing on the other side. And I open them up and just follow those bones all the way down to the spine. Make sure you try to get as much meat as you can. And then I'll go ahead and separate it from the spine. Go through, cut off, and then follow them bones down on the other side until I break through. And then I use the, let the weight of the fish to get the ribs off of the meat. Just let it, let the knife do the work. And there, there's my first bluefish filet. And do the same exact thing on the other side. Open them up, all them bones all the way down to the spine. Separate the spine, cut through, and just follow those bones. Break through the other side. And then up here, let the, let the knife do the work and those rib bones will just come right off the meat. There's the other side. All right, now to me, the most important part about eating bluefish. They have a lot of dark meat. Some people call it bloodline, I call it dark meat. That is what makes bluefish unappetizing to a lot of people. But if you cut it off, it's delicious. I try to leave a little bit of meat on the skin. Don't, don't try so hard to get all the way down that filet. And that'll leave some of that bloodline dark meat on the skin, you don't have to deal with it, see? much less than if I had went all the way through there. Cause look at that, it's just all dark stuff. Now, yeah, I wasted a little meat, but you would just be cutting all this dark stuff off anyways. And then the next thing I do is I go ahead and cut my filet in half right down where the spine would be. And then just trim off the little pieces of that dark meat on there. Cause uh, they got a nice fishy sour taste. You just take it all off as, mu as much as you can. Don't go crazy. I mean, a little bit here and there ain't gonna hurt you. And then there, look at that meat. Nice, clean, those little spots, I don't worry about them. And then same thing on the other side. Trim all that dark stuff off. Don't be scared to waste a little meat because it, it, is, it is not good. The first time I tried bluefish, I left that dark meat on and man, was it fishy. And I really believe that's why a lot of people think bluefish taste bad, because they didn't trim it off. Look at that filet, beautiful. Nice, good meat. But yeah, those are filets are done. And I cut off all the rib bones, so there's no bones in here, but always go ahead and feel my filets, make sure I didn't leave any bones. Now that I got my filets ready, it's time to cook these up. I use an egg wash. I do a half cup of milk with one egg. And then mix that up real good. And I'm gonna be using the Zatarans Fish Fry Crispy Southern. Go ahead and put some in a bowl. Get some Crisco, pure vegetable oil. Put it in a pan and heat it up to 375. Once it hits 375, start dropping them nuggets in there. All right, I'm gonna take my bluefish fillets and I'm just gonna line them all up and cut them into nugget sized pieces, about like that. And we're gonna get those in the batter and then in the oil. All right, our oil is at 375. Let's get start putting them in there. Grab a couple of those nuggets, put them in the egg wash, and I'm getting them in that crispy southern Zadran's fish fry. And I double coat mine. Put them back in the egg wash and coat them again. Make them nice and crispy, and then put them in the oil. Oh yeah, there they go. Getting all nice and crispy and brown. I put about 10 or 12 in there. Just don't overcrowd your pan. And when they start get that nice golden brown color, just take them out. My name is Ellie. Nice and crispy. Those are good. Look at that nice white meat. What? It's got a great texture. That good fish? Yeah? Yeah. You like that blue fish? I ate two fishes already. Now I have four fishes right now. That's right. What's wrong with that? Yeah. If you want to be extra spicy, get you some of this Cajun's Trinidad Scorpion hot sauce. It's super hot. And uh, you dunk that thing. Oh, it's so good. But it's definitely hot. This food tastes so good with hot stuff. Yeah, she likes the Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> Show them how you dip it. Show them how you dip it. 
We're gonna enjoy these bluefish nuggets. They're really awesome. Be sure to check this recipe out. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, take care and tie lines.